Now that most of the game logic is done, we can now write a function that will check the progress of the game. And, you know, do different things based on if you've won the game, you've lost the game, or you're still in progress. So, um, down here we can define a new function called check progress. This function will uh, take in the turns left variable of type u8 and also a reference to the letters vector. Type in vector and then letter. This function now will return a member of the game progress enum. So we're going to define this one uh, right now, but for now we'll just say curly braces and we're just going to return game progress uh, uh, 1. So now we can uh, define the game progress enum. So up here we can just make a new enum called game progress containing three members in progress one and lost. So now I'll explain uh, the check progress function once again. So this function will check if you won the game, lost the game, or you've, you're still in progress, and it'll return an enum type containing basically just the state. So, so not the state, like um, the status, I guess. So if you've won, lost, or in progress. Now this function will be handled inside the main function using a match statement. So below this, after they've, after they've had their turn and the letters have been revealed and all that stuff, uh, we're going to just check the progress of the game. So we'll say match check progress, passing in the turns left uh, counter variable and a reference to the letters vector. Now, We'll handle all these different enum types inside this match statement right now. So we'll say, if the game progress is in progress, so if the game is still on, you haven't run out of lives and you're still guessing, we're just going to continue. And continue is just going to restart back up to the beginning of this loop statement right there. If that's the case, we continue. If the game has been won, right? We're going to say um, print line, congrats, you won. The word was, and then pass in the selected word. We'll also put a new line character just for neatness. Okay. Now, if you've lost the game, so if you've lost, then we're going to print line. Sorry, you lost. Also with a, a new line character. Okay. And we'll also just comment and say check uh, game progress. Alright. So now we can work on the check progress function. Down to the bottom. We can, you know what, actually we'll just return uh, the one state and just run the program. See how we go. Now back in here, clear this and run that, run that application. All right, so yeah, five turns left. We're gonna guess. We'll say e, press enter. Okay, you won. The word was monitor. Now, unfortunately, we need to do, need to actually just um, go back in here and also put a break statement. So let's just go back inside the one and the lost um, blocks and just say break. That was forgotten. Save this one, go up inside here, clear this, try it one more time. Okay, we'll guess E again, press enter. It says, congrats, you won, the word was computer. Now that's because the check progress function returns the one uh, ENA member every single time. So now we need to put some logic inside here. So we can do this. We can say let sorry uh, let mut all revealed equals true. So we're going to first assume that all the letters have been revealed. We're well, then going to loop through each one and eliminate the ones, or not eliminate, but basically just check if at least one is not revealed. So we can say this for letter in letters. 
we're going to check if this letter is not revealed. So if one letter is not revealed, we're going to set all revealed equal to false. And that'll just uh, determine, determine if all letters have been revealed. Now, we can put a few if statements here. We can say if all revealed. So if all letters have been revealed, you've won the game. So we'll return game progress one. Otherwise, we can say if the amount of turns left is zero, then return game progress. Uh, sorry, not, not is zero, sorry, greater than zero, greater than zero. We're going to return in progress. So here we're saying, if all letters are revealed, return game progress one. This one is saying if the amount of turns left is more than zero. So if you've got turns left and not all have been revealed. So now, if, if that's not being called, then obviously all hasn't been revealed. This is sort of like saying, if you have turns left and at least one is not revealed, then you're going to return the game is in progress. If these both don't return and back out, then we're just going to return our game progress lost. That was a bit sloppy, so I'm going to go over it again. So, we're going to determine if all letters have been revealed. We're going to use the all revealed uh, variable, assuming all are revealed by default. We're going to go through each one and check if at least one letter is not revealed. Then set that to false. Now we're saying if they're all revealed, then we're going to return game progress one. Otherwise, if you have turns left and there is at least one letter that is not revealed, we're going to return game progress in progress. Otherwise, return you've lost. You've lost the game. Okay. So now everything should be working just fine. I guess we can now run this program and see how we go. Clear this. Try running it. Alrighty, yeah, five turns left. Let's try E. Okay. Um, M. No. Let's check the actual words.txt file for this one. Okay, we've got E. Alright, this might be vehicle. So we go back inside here. We'll guess V. L, H, I, and C. Congrats, you won. The word was vehicle. Let's now try it again. This time, uh, getting it wrong on purpose. Type out X, W, Q, L, Y, and K. You lost. The word was vehicle once again. All right. So now I guess we can just do some final touch-ups. I believe we need some spaces in between these, these lines. So... We can actually um, probably get rid of the print line statement down here. That's not required anymore. What's the, actually, no, we'll just make this say goodbye instead. Okay. Um, put a, a line break inside there. And probably one more line break up here. And also one just inside here. Uh, also, we forgot little message that just says welcome to hangman okay let's save that one and try it one more time alrighty let's try E yeah so everything's now spaced out properly and it looks nice but that's how you can make your own hangman game using rust I know it's not perfect you know we we missed a few things but for the simplicity of a video I've made it quite simple and um, there's also improvements to be made on this read user input function and I'll let you guys mess around with that one but um, yeah you can find all this code available on uh, github and that's been linked in the description thank you for watching and I'll see you later